Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Nine Souls. In the last episode, we were exploring the uh, Grotto of Scriptures West, and uh, got, actually we explored basically the whole thing. Uh, trying to figure out how to get to this little room here, and I believe I figured it out. So, um, you go down, uh, after you unlock all the doors and stuff that we did in the last episode, um, you go over and turn these upright, um, and then after you do that, I'm trying to backtrack because I, so I did it as a test. Here it is. This is the answer. I'm going to try and show you the path I took. All right. So we turn them upright. Go up the rope, go through this door here, go up this rope, go through that door, and then we're back on the correct side. And then we just run, avoid this, uh, this dude who jumps out of the ground, climb up, and then you can hack this. And hey, look, a computing unit. Nice. Um, those are what expand your... Um, uh, jade slots. Is there anything over here? No, okay. Oh, shit. Alright, that's a tough one. Unbounded counters. Those are not easy for me. Man. I really thought that I'm timing that right. Damn, this is... I'm going to edit this down because this is going to take me a while. Alright, wait, hold on. Oh, come on. I hate doing those things. I didn't have to edit it. Man, those things... Oh, man. Unbounded counters, man. Those are... Those are real tough for me. Secret mural number three. Lu Yan, one of the three great sages, astounded all nine kingdoms by leading a team of a hundred to take control over the Haotian sphere. The battle resulted in tens of thousands of casualties for the Jay and the destruction of the satellite. 
In addition to their technology, the Fengxi Guild is also known for its warriors, having inherited Lear's unique fighting style and wielding high-tech weapons and gear. Fengxi soldiers are famous for their power and integrity. Near the end of the turbulent era, when it was clear that the Jade Kingdom would not give up arms, Lear asked Lu Yan to, to establish the Martial Division. Lear and Lu Yan would lead this division to fight undefeated in over a hundred battles and skirmishes. I am the chief of the Fengxi Guild's Martial Division, Sojourner Lu Yan. And there it is. Now that door will be unlocked, and let's go see uh, that little royal person. Um, G. Um, they will be waiting for us. Back to the Eastern Grotto of Scriptures. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Keeper Zi Xing. All right, not much on that then. Whoa. Holy shit. No, that doesn't even look like it's doing spear damage. Oh my god, what the fuck? That is... Alright, that is some dookie. It does like three or... What was that? Three or four attacks all in a row before I had a chance to respond? That sucks. Can I skip it? I'm not real interested. Like, I just want to go to the, like, boss fight.
if you miss one of those, what it seemed like, it, it sucks, because if you miss the first one, the other ones just, like, they can come in, and I can't, I can't do anything. Um, I'm sure, I, I'm sure I could probably find a way to get around it, um, but they, they happen so quick, I don't think I can use my dash in that amount of time. Oh my god, no, oh my, oh, oh, fuck me, god damn it. Look at this shit. Alright, you are not gonna beat me. Oh, shit. Oh, and he heals if I leave the, the arena. Damn it. I was hoping to cheese this. Um. Spirit Keeper. Oh, my God. I just, like, I just want to fight G. That sucks. Um. I'm going to pause this for, for just a second. Okay. I was being silly. I didn't realize I could just use this elevator. I think that's going to be go going back to the Empyrean District as well. It's got an eyeball. That's got to be G. Yeah, here we go. That red door. Well met, my friend. My apologies, I'm just finishing up this last paragraph. It is so important that you have it to write down. Um, is it so important that you have to write it down right now? <laughs> Every story needs an ending. Right. All done now. Welcome to my humble little library, my friend. It might look dreary, but many intriguing events from the past are etched into these pillars. So Sol Ji is still a, a chronicler. What other secrets are you hiding? <laughs> Please, don't misunderstand. I only use these crystals for personal note-keeping. They help me recall memories worth remembering. It began as a casual hobby, but look at what it's become. Cut the chatter and give me, uh, give it to me straight. Why have you been secretly approaching me? I want to know more about you. That is all. Like a lighthouse standing tall in the night sky, great figures like yourself will always shine with a certain splendor. A splendor not dimmed by mortality. Due perhaps to some divine prank, age means nothing to me. Huh? Impossible. How long have you lived? <laughs> How could this be possible, right? I don't understand it either, even after several lifetimes. Why was I given this miracle? I have neither grand ambitions nor excessive desires. I have never coveted power, nor did I seek to bring it about to bring about peace. Even on the brink of apocalypse, I did not feel the need to save anyone. Through every era, those that I have cared about always leave me behind. You're ageless and immortal. 
that's an ability that many can only dream of. <laughs> that's true if you're a spectator, but for me it feels more like a curse. Alas, I also lack the courage to end this curse myself. Does my mentor, does Ai Gong know about this too? I don't get it. Why did you choose to join the council? The Tianhao, Tianhuo virus doesn't seem to have any, have an effect on you at all. <sighs> Staying in Banglai meant eternal loneliness, and I have endured enough loneliness. Besides, I made a promise, however meaningless, to protect this grotto for a friend. Just hand over your soul seal and I guarantee the grotto will not be harmed in any way. Aww. Oh? Are you going easy on me? You never participated much in the council, and I'm not keen on exterminating the ancient Kunlun tribe. I just need your permission. I don't want to fight. But I have never disobeyed destiny. Ooh. Have you forgotten already? I have always held great confidence in the answers my divination provides. What? What did you see in the hexagrams? I'm so sorry, but you will die by my hand today, Yi. Standing before you is the deputy captain of the Fangshi Guild Elite Guard, Sojourner Yi Ji. May the clouds part and allow truth's light to illuminate our decisive battle. Indulge with me with a sparring session, friend. Come take part in my divination. Oh, man. I got chose something. God. Okay, that one is... That thing is pretty dangerous. Okay. Thankfully, it is right next to the... The root node, so that makes it nice.
Oh boy, that was tough. <coughs> How nostalgic. Your moves feel exactly like his. It appears that your hexagrams have failed you. <laughs> if I told you the result, would you still have tried your utmost? At least one of us got to enjoy the thrill of the unknown. You lied to me? <laughs> A good story needs an interesting twist, does it not? <coughs> Is this the end? I have witnessed the springs of Tian Shan burst forth and dry out. I have seen the long shadows cast by mountains of corpses, um, mountains of corpses as night fell at Feng Shan. I was there when the when the Dong Huang bell rang for the first time. I walked through countless cities drowned in time. Georgia. All of it has now attained wholeness within the Tao. Like a shooting star. Uh, like a shooting star that sears its mark between heaven and earth. Key item, G's hair. A strand of hair taken from G. Its specific purpose is unclear. G's corpse never showed any signs of decay. The unusual, oh, the usual Tianhao flowers were also absent. Interesting. Guardian of Life, Master of Time, we worship you. I, Jay Tong, born as a warrior, shall perish as a hero. Farewell, my friend. The struggles of life and death no longer concern me. We finally transcended our destiny with our own hands. We are no longer mortal. All of it has now attained wholeness within the Tao. Seal of G, G's soul seal containing the character Gui, signifies insight. All right. Shanghai 1000. Booting, loading, initializing. Hello, thank you for using the Shanghai 1000 testing model. I'm the latest assistive robot capable of deep learning through conversation. Feel free to browse the database or engage me in an in in-depth Q&A. Shanghai 1000, is this a prototype? Uh, Incorrect, that command does not exist in the database. Doesn't seem too bright. Uh, Incorrect, that command does not exist in the database. Give me a status report on this region. Uh, Incorrect, that command does not exist in the database. Why are you in G's warehouse? Okay. Keyword confirmed. G. Loading G's latest development log. First month of year 3773, Turbulent Era. We installed the third iteration of the head. I wanted to put a real fish inside, but the maintenance would have been too costly. It ended up being a display instead. I wanted to fill it with water due to the whole design concept. This robot would represent the seas and mountains of Penglai. Lear told me that I didn't need to use its appearance to symbolize Penglai. 
He kept asking me to cut features from the Shanghai 1000 to make it more practical, but I don't want it to be mass-produced. Spectators innately, want, uh, innately understand that fireworks from afar look prettier than those in your midst. I wonder how many more years I, will I be able to converse with him. What were you made to do? Okay. Shanghai is a public welfare experiment funded by the Fengxi Guild. I can look up information, play audio files, calculate mathematical equations, and make noodles. The purpose of the Shanghai 1000 shifted constantly through its 50 year development period. It currently has no clear purpose. Please contact the developers if you would like to purchase one. You were there when the Fengxi Guild was still active? Okay. Keyword confirmed. Fengxi Guild. Retrieving. The Fengxi Guild is an international scientific organization founded by the thinker Lear. Its purpose was to put an end to all wars. Lear believed that peace could be found using science, so he gathered those lofty ideals and together they built a research complex on the island of Kunlun. Today, the guild is home to the most advanced technology on Penglai, as demonstrated in Kunlun's Sustainable Development Zone. The guild's technology, uh, the guild's technology spread to every corner of the world and helped to end the century-long food and energy crisis. However, Lear has also been launching non-compliance movements due to each nation's lack of interest in his anti-war initiatives. This move has paralyzed operations in all major governments and institutions. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, thank you for your patronage. Feel free to leave a review and any comments about your experience. Let's get his chip. Warning, removing the map data chip will cause irreversible damage. To transfer image assets, it is recommended that you provide 400 physical units to obtain a copy. Sure. Insufficient gin. Please obtain sufficient gin to restart the process. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill you to do it. There is an achievement, evidently, for doing that, but uh, no, I'm, uh, I don't feel like doing it. Interesting, okay. That was a that that, that was a difficult fight. So, um it it actually took me a couple of hours to um to get through that one. And my issue and I, I was actually having fun through most all of it. Um I, I really enjoyed that fight. Um, my difficulty was in um, adjusting to the pacing because uh, in phase two the pace picks up, and, uh, and and there are some new attacks so you have to dodge a little bit more, and uh, in adjusting to that was just incredibly difficult for me personally. But I had a great time. Um, I think that's one of the better boss fights in the game. Uh, let's see skills. Do I have any skill points? No. No, I do not. Uh, let's go back to the pavilion. Hmm. Watch one. What do you got? Hmm, there's no more space on the floor. How about the shelf? Not enough room for all your stuff? No, I can make more room. I, I've only just now realized how many interesting things you've taught me. Look at all the stuff you've brought me to, and, and I thought you were just trying to brush me off at first. I didn't expect you to be so interested in Solarian affairs. It's really fun. I didn't realize there was so much out there in your world to learn. But what I don't get is if Penglai was so interesting, why did you guys leave? We didn't want to leave. Us Solarians got sick. We couldn't stay on, in Penglai anymore. Aww. Did they get better after coming here? Mm. They didn't. But just like with your book, if you don't read the last page, you won't need to fear a bad ending. 
What? I've never read the ending of a story. I don't really want an ending. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. I'd say there's still a long way to go before you reach your ending. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go talk to see if Ruyi has anything to say. I don't think that... Oh, yes he does, okay. My lord, don't you think there are quite a few similarities between Xuan Xuan and Hang? The results of their personality analyses are also quite similar. If your humble servant could express an opinion, having Xuan Xuan wake, wake you up as the most incredible stroke of... Uh, was the most incredible stroke of luck I've ever witnessed. Okay. Uh, let's go check out if Quaffa has anything to say. You got G's soul seal. So did you ever figure out what he was? It was always a mystery to me how someone so little could sound like a living antique. So you've actually met G? Oh? Of course I have. He read my fortune and said I would spend the rest of my life ol um, away from ho my hometown. What nonsense. He even invited me to the Grotto of Scriptures, saying he wanted to show me a secret no one's ever seen before. Was that his idea of a joke? Everyone knows the Grotto's biggest secret is the Grave of Lear, which no one can seem to find. <laughs> Who would ever want to step foot in those catacombs? It, would, it must be crawling with countless vengeful Feng Shi souls. Uh, let's see, I want to go to... I'm going to recycle a couple of components, because I'm going to get that chip and then give it to the Shanghai 9000. Recycle. I only have one. Oh, man. Okay. Um, well, between episodes, I'll grind a little bit, um, and I'll get 400 gin, and then I'll turn it in. And I will start up the next episode, uh, probably here at the Tiandao Research Center. Uh, that might be the next my next place to go. Uh, oh, okay. The I, I was wondering what those exclamation points were. They're, it's saying, hey, I've got a map for the area now, um, and I haven't hovered over it yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, I think we'll do the Tiandao uh, Research Center in the next episode. So I will see you all there.